Guys, I am here at the Puma training for the Talanta contestants who have qualified for the semifinals. I'm here with one of the trainers. I'll let her introduce herself. Hi. Hi, my name is Sofia Nyamu. I am the trainer for intellectual property in Talanta Mtani. Uh -huh. yes. So basically, what do you teach these guys in your, in your short training sessions? What do you teach them? I think it's very self-explanatory. I've explained this a few times before, but I'll do it one more time. Yeah, you can make it um, short. It's just... What is intellectual property, types of intellectual property, how they can, you know, the process of copywriting their work because they're all artists. So it's basically just that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like you want to share copyright when you're not a Yeah, it's, it's, it's the place you need to be at. Now with Talanta, Ntani Consortium, I know you've heard of them. Very we have good. CSUDP, yeah. we have um, CIPLA, yeah. and then we also have OESA Awareness. So I work for the branch for CIPLA. Uh, Sim CIPLA simply means Center for Intellectual Property and Advocacy Research. Mm -hmm. So we give advocacy advice to contestants for free. Mm -hmm. So if as long as you're a contestant from, ta like a contestant from Talanta Mtani, we give you free ad legal advice on the processes of ensuring that your work is registered, that your trademark is registered, that your work is copyrighted, and which bodies you need to follow, if it's Kekobo, the Kenya Copyright Board, MCSK, Pris can come. Mm -hmm. So we just give you directives and practical um um, it's, it's like from CSUDP, from this grounds we are in, okay. what next? Okay. You have this song you've composed, you've produced. This is the process you need to take to have it registered. Mm -hmm. This is the process you need to take to have it copyrighted so that in turn you can earn money from mm -hmm. whatever work you've created. Because the only way you can earn money is if you've gone through the proper legal processes of ensuring that your work is protected. Uh, so basically that's just an overview of what intellectual property is mm -hmm. and what I do. I think just going on further, um, today's session was more of a practical feel. I'm still not done. So tomorrow we'll definitely have a, an hour session of now the practical aspect to now from CSUDP, how do you go and now register whatever work it is that you have. So tomorrow it will be more of an intensive lesson. Today we were just covering trademarks and, and just the theories around it. But oh now yeah. tomorrow it will be more of a practical class. Yeah, so definitely that's what IP is. So as, as one of the trainers, what fulfillment do you get from all this? Uh, let me just say, just seeing them answering questions, I'm uh, seeing them remember something you told them the other lesson. Mm -hmm. That's just amazing. Like today, one of the highlights of the lessons were when someone uh, quoted something that I had mentioned earlier. And it just makes me feel like, oh my God, I'm just so happy. Like you guys are actually listening mm -hmm. and, you know, like putting into practice what it is that I am teaching you. So that was I'd say that's the highlight of teaching, or that's the highlight of my session. Uh, yeah. So basically, um, especially Kuala uh, Sokomtani, maybe upcoming artists mm -hmm. or bands out there, mm -hmm. or guys who do acoustic sessions, what would you like to tell them as, as an advice or just a small uh, snippet of basically what they should do as creatives? Okay, so for me, the first thing I think I'll say is ignorance is definitely not bliss. You should know your rights as an artist, know which laws in, in the country protect you as an artist. Because kujua, doina kusaidia ujue which processes to take so that you can earn money. You see, so you find um, it's just a matter of ensuring that the laws that have been put in place, that us as artists, we are attending those meetings at PRISC, at CAMP, at MCSK, because the decisions being made in those meetings at Kekobo, those are the decisions that directly affect Ungayako. Uh, so I think for me, it's just a call out to all these artists or people who are interested in art. If you're interested in art, reach out, mm -hmm. seek knowledge, Google if you need to, find out the dates, the schedules where they have their meetings, be part of the people making those decisions mm -hmm. and ensuring that the laws that are being implemented, the laws that are being made there, or the policies being made there mm -hmm. are implemented by those bodies because these bodies also you see, these bodies are there to help you, mm -hmm. yeah? They're there to assist you in getting those realities. So I think for me, what I just tell artists is get to reading, get to researching, mm -hmm. understand what industry you're in, mm -hmm. understand what are the do's and don'ts of that industry, mm -hmm. get your laws and your facts right, and yeah. What about those guys that have a misconception about especially MCSK? I know you're in that field, you advocate for all this copyright and stuff, mm -hmm. but for guys who are scared of joining MCSK or because of the scandals, because of really 2,500 in your mm -hmm. what do you say, what's your take on all that? And, and that's why I said you have to be part of that community in order to make active change. But like being part of the community, you're not getting your money as you deserve. No, I'm, I'm not refusing, you see. MCSK is basically a body that has been created by us as artists. Okay. Don't forget I'm also an artist, yeah? So this is a body that has been created to serve you. 
And this body carries out meetings and they choose even their own leaders. They have their elective leaders and the leaders that have been appointed by the board. Are we clear? Yes. So it's just you as a citizen to participate. Go there while they're making these laws and making these policies. Be part of that crowd so that you can also suggest laws and policies that are in favor to you. But if artists don't attend these things that directly affect them, then they can't blame that law for being put in place. And yet they were not, they did not want to be part of the making of the law. Laws are okay. It's okay to make laws. It's okay to have policies. The thing is artists should also be active in this policy making. And MCSK and all those bodies provide platforms where artists can be part of the decision making. Yes. Thank you very much for shedding more light on the whole copyright and everything. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for actually training these guys, mm -hmm. uh, giving them uh, the sneak bits on it's how actually, how what to do with your talent yeah. and basically all that. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for.